That was our opening act for you guys. <laughs> You're muted. Welcome in everybody. Sorry about being muted. Um, does someone want to introduce us or what's happening? I can. I just wanted to um, tell everybody that if you are from Reddit, this is likely not going to be new information. We wanted to have a live to um, talk about some of the things that have happened over the last few weeks. Some things are old, some are new, developing over the weekend. It's been busy. It's been a busy weekend for Gabrielle. And um, the other thing is we don't want gifts. Please don't give any gifts. We're just keeping them on to protect the live. Um, if you have any experiences with G that you want to come up and share, you can. Um, you can request a box when we get to that point. And I think that's it. Bean, am I leaving anything else out? Um, not really, no. We're, we're just here to... Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. We're just here to share some things that I'm sure you've already seen or you might have, um, you might not have. And we have, oh my goodness, I didn't leak the Google Docs. You can do that after. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a Google Docs linked in my profile after the live for everyone to go and check the receipts, the talking points, and all linked evidence. I can go um, add it in mine really quick. Like while you're okay, still live, sure. I can drop down really quick and do it. All right, I'll be right back. Um, but we're also holding this just to open the box for people that have personal experiences with this creator and have gotten shut down or have felt the need to share that have never gotten the opportunity to. Um, please no gifts, we're not here for that. Also, we ask that you respect the rules we have set forth for this. We will let people talk as they need to, or as they want to, but if you're going to accuse anybody of anything illegal, you need proof, which you can't really show us before you speak it, so don't speak it at all and our mods will block or mute things that are going against our rules. This is just for people to speak on what they've gone through with Gabby. Nothing more, we're not accusing, we're not giving any new information that's not already out there. This is just a safe place to talk. So this is going to be the first screenshot that we're showing. Um, this was, I think, last week. And 
There, I'm sure a lot of you knew the gecko story. There was a missing lizard inside the house. Um, she was looking for it during many lives. She gave up. It was under the couch. Um, then it was shown that it was in the dryer in a load of clothes. It was washed and dried uh, in a clean load of clothes that she then discarded the lizard of and folded the clothes and put away. No care about how that would affect Oh, and she anything. showed Cam, too. Oh, she, sorry, she showed C, too. She showed C, the dead lizard. Oh, that's right. She did actually say for her child to come and look at the dead lizard to then... I don't know. I, I really don't know the point of that. Um, but we love the TikTok shop. I heard they sell dryer sheets there. <laughs> we love them. And just to um, clarify, too, she found that lizard yesterday. It wasn't last week. That was yesterday. But the original vibe yeah. of, like, where's the lizard in the house was weeks ago. It was. Yeah, it's been in there for it's quite so a long time. Also, then, it was on top of, of Coco's crate. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised. I don't know. I'm surprised Coco didn't get it, but. That's very true. Here is a while ago. Um, she was on live with her sister um, and was too worried about TikTok gifts and the live to notice that her child had jumped on top of the counter and was dancing to her music on top of the counter. And I know this might be old news. I know y'all, you know, some of y'all have seen this, but here's another example. That, of... that moment I think is by far one of the worst, one of the worst moments in my opinion, like to see that. And I, I've seen people say that like, it's, it was like fabricated, not fabricated, but like it was a skit or whatever. It, it was not. I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but the look on Dee's face, because she was in the box, as C was jumping around on the counter was like pure fear, fear and screaming at her to turn around. Yes. She was terrified. Her terrified. It might be old. It might not. Just another example of not caring. Yeah, can but you we love the TikTok can make, shop. Can you make the boxes smaller so that the screen is bigger? Girl, I don't know how. I've tried. <laughs> I have tried. I'm sorry. I think you have to go into settings and then the grid. Do you see grid settings? That I think that will change. Yeah, I remember Waffle said something about... There you go. Oh, hold on. There you go. And now I'm in the big box. Change yourself. Yep. And it there should be. There we go. You got it. Okay. So here's that. Um, here is literally the other day when her dog is being attached on the lead inside, which is so harmful because it's put through this, the little door, the slider door. She left her in there for hours when she went outside with her son. Do you she's know also, how dangerous that is? She's also admitted to giving the dog Benadryl to calm the dog down. Um, oh, it's we'll not get, for- We'll get there, we'll get okay, there. I'm just saying. <laughs> we'll get there. But she leaves her attached to the lead when she is outside or inside, doesn't matter. And I don't know if you own dogs, anyone in chat, or if you've dealt with leads or harnesses, but that's dangerous. Going to the Benadryl. This was shown on XOT with bees. 
live the other day, but this is her text to, I believe, I don't know who, but she's admitting to giving the dog Benadryl for no reason. Benadryl is safe when dosed properly and when given for anxiety, not for putting it in a kettle. We're not saying that Benadryl is not safe for dogs. We're saying that she doesn't dose it correctly. And, and she's that, giving it to the dog to calm the dog down. It's not for allergies or it's not vet. The vet did not, per, you know, it's not a vet's decision. It's her decision. And she should have spoke with, you know, if a vet prescribed it, that's one thing. How about exactly. that? That's what, this, is why, this is why we kennel the dog. This is her text to someone of why she kennels Coco. And why she gives them, like, come on. I just wanted to say too now that I think with XOT with Bees Live, everyone is expecting the receipts of you know what. And to see all of the extra stuff about Coco and just how bad, like, I mean, we've all listened to the lives where she's, you can hear Coco in the background crying. Um, doesn't get let out except for the times when she books it out the door and tries to take off. But just to see all of this stuff that's come out about Coco is, it's just horrible. Um, the Benadryl, yeah, the fact that she keeps her on the lead in the house. Like most, I would think most people in this room right now leave their dogs to wander around their house and do as they please. Like not be just tied up all day long every day. She has no quality of life. The chat had to remind her to give her water. And I also want what? to clarify that this isn't just a one-time incident. It happens all the time. And it, it speaks Amen. volumes that as soon as the door opens, the dog wants to run because the dog gets no exercise. The dog, they have a big yard. She never takes the dog out, lets the dog run around. Even get, Even taking the dog on walks, how many times Oh, I forgot to take Coco for a walk. Oh, I should probably take Coco out. How many times is the dog barking because she wants to go out? I mean, clearly or she's not getting... because she's kenneled. And she's a big dog. I mean, big dogs need exercise. They need a place to run around. And being in a cage or being on a lead all day, it's not healthy for the dog. So and trigger so warning to anyone. The, the heat, too. The being in the garage in the Florida heat also is... That's another topic. Or just in the kennel, man. You know they don't run AC in that house when they're gone. They barely run it when they're there. Like, she's... <sighs> Here's another example, if you don't believe the whole Benadryl situation. This is, was a picture shown in the live on Friday. There will be context in a moment. Just take a second to look at it. We love the TikTok shop. <laughs> Okay, you guys see that? If you didn't, let's take a closer look. What does that look like to you? What does that look like? It looks like a pill to me. <laughs> Thank you. And here, Here's the text that was shown after in Bees Live, which you can <clears throat> fact check me on. It'll be linked after this live. This is the text message she sent after the picture. That's not Coco's. That's not Coco's. I have my own opinions on this. Obviously, I can't prove it, but I 100% believe that that is dog puke and not seize. And the Benadryl in I that- I do too, but either way. That. But either way, man. Either way. I do agree. But it just shows bile, which could be her not, you know, That's a true. lack of food. That's very true. She almost made her, if that is a lie, she almost made it worse by lying about that and saying that it sees. 
Here's proof with the um, social security situation. That was also shown on Friday's live, which again, it will be linked at the end of this one. There is no reason that either of them should get Benadryl, by the way. What else? Oh, here's this one. That was between Pinka and or P and A. Excuse me, we love the TikTok shop here. Between P and A, and she's stating that she will be his job reference. Jen, she gets it for her child. We know that these things are from Friday, by the way, you guys, we know that. Okay, our live was planned yep. prior to that one and we're, we just wanted to show things that we could then discuss today on top of other things. We initially wanted to do this after, I don't know, last week or the week before where um, all of the mod drama started happening and when Gabby threatened slewer side and all of that that's that's what we wanted yeah. to talk about but we just we're just showing things that have come up and of course like this stuff that happened on friday we know it's all brand new it's something that everybody's been talking about we're not claiming that this is new information we know that it's not no nope. and again i've stated three times now that this was shown on xot with bees live on friday all that's going to be linked in our doc after this live as well we're not trying to claim that it's new. We're just showing you things that you might not have seen before, before we start our portion of the live, because a lot's come up since we planned this a week ago, a week and a half ago, actually. Um, so let's put up the original background again. And let's get into the reason why we started this. So, I don't know if y'all have been watching them for a long time or not. I was introduced to them, um, unfortunately, <laughs> or fortunately, I don't know, we're here now. I would like credit but, for owning this beautiful picture, by the way. <laughs> period. Period. Um, but there was a live that happened a few weeks back where she spoke about harassment and bullying, but she didn't speak about it in her terms. She spoke about it secondhand and she threatened sewer slide while crocodile tearing got called out ended her live and then said, oh, it was just for a joke and attention. And that's how I came into the picture, really. Um, I requested her box and I told her, you know, you cannot be doing that because people that actually have that ideation and people that have lost individuals to sewer slide deal with that and you can't be doing that as a joke or for any sort of one-ups. Um, so that's originally why I wanted to do this and why we all wanted to do this because I was dropped from the live and after I was dropped, she laughed <laughs> about it. And I watched many people try to speak with her that were dropped. So we're trying to provide a platform for people to speak their experiences without being shut down. Um, 
good or bad. I mean, you know, it can be whatever. We're just trying to let y'all speak how I wanted to speak, how many people wanted to speak. Cause it wasn't just me that was affected. I know all my girls were affected some way and I know, you know, a hundred some people in that live were affected. So we just wanted to be that platform to not have anyone shut down. And I think too, at the end of the day, we, we all feel the same way about the situation. We all have a common ground when it comes to, you know, G and C and the whole situation. And a lot of people are new. I mean, there was a lot of people in her live on Friday that were commenting, oh, she's a mother. Look, she's folding children's clothes. There, there were people that didn't even know that she had a child. And so it is important to do awareness lives like this because there are people that are new that look and say, oh, look, it's a mother that's just like me and somebody that I can relate to and somebody that I can look up to. And a lot of people don't realize how triggering she really can be with these behaviors, whether it's threatening the sewer slide or chaining her dog up or even the, the schmexual stuff that goes on between her and A. I know I got triggered by that and I actually had to leave that live. Um, it, it was very triggering and I even tried to bring it up to her as a, as a supporter and say, hey, this isn't, this isn't okay. There's people that have been essayed in your chat that this rough behavior could be really triggering. And I was of course shut down. I was blocked. I was muted. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of other people in the chat have done the same thing. And I think we're just tired of being labeled bullies because we're not, we're concerned citizens that care about the people that can't fight for themselves. And that is the child and the animal. And I will say this one, I'm sorry because I was there as well. And that was not an okay situation we put on TikTok live. Um, two, I want to preface to the chat and everyone joining that we're not friends, mods, you know, we're viewers that have been affected by words and actions that have been shown and said, and, and it's- Go ahead, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. No, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. I just want to preface that again, you know, it's not like, who am I to the situation? I'm literally no one. Thank God, I'm no one. I'm someone that just happened to be, catch the wrong time, I guess. But every time is a wrong time because we have some things to share about this woman. <laughs> Well, that same day that she threatened that, I think, I don't know, at least for me, that, that was so upsetting to watch was, which it's the same song and dance all the time, but I, I think she took it really far last week where she claims people are bullying her. Okay, you tell the truth and it's considered to be bullying. So she puts on this huge show. She gets the sympathy from the people that are, I'm sorry, <laughs> I won't say stupid, the people that can't see her for who she really is. Um, and that believe that she's being bullied and she cries and she goes on all of this with all of this chaotic behavior and then gets so upset and threatens slower side. She did it multiple times. You guys, I don't know if everybody saw it, but she did it while on live. She posted a video, something along the lines of how she was just going to, it, I don't know, something, this is the end, or I'm just, what if I just say goodbye? And it was like yeah. super cryptic and vague. Mm -hmm. And then and it was deleted back, immediately. Yes. And then came back on to can like gaslight her entire chat about how None of that happened. Like it did happen. We all saw it. That's what honestly pisses me off so bad watching her is that you see these things happen. And if you say anything about it, or if you react a certain way, if it upsets you and you try to bring it to her attention or anybody's attention, she acts like it never happened. It did happen. We were there. She dropped Bean down because she didn't want to hear what she was saying. And a lot of people, even her supporters, and I know you guys are in here now, even her supporters that day were trying to tell her, this is not okay to talk about right now. Like you're taking this too far, you're being insensitive. And she blew it off and just said, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I'm done, I'm done. As if that negates everything that just happened. It's like a roller coaster constantly. We're all haters and we're all jealous until it no longer fits that narrative. Then what? And, 
I don't, I don't we're want just to concerned because period, we're all concerned about the well-being of that child and that dog. <sighs> I have someone requesting. I'm going to let them up. Okay. Hello. Mary, you're muted. Oh, we dropped. Done. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just get on to the talking points. We've already touched the threatening. Um, let's go to threatening to dox a woman and her family to get the heat off of herself the other day. When all this was going down, for all that she's done, she tries to bring up another mother and tries to dox her saying, I know what you look like. I know where you live. Her chat has told people to get Socials, bro. I know they don't sell those on the TikTok shop, but we love the TikTok shop. She also threatened to leave Google reviews on somebody's business. That was one live, and the whole chat had to pretty much tell her not to do it. Um, so that's another thing. She was definitely planning to ruin somebody's job. Oh, yeah. After they said that they would be a recommendation for A's job, they then left shit reviews on her husband's. They were about That's to. That's insane. They were stopped, but they were about to. <laughs> the chat wants to talk about the agency. <laughs> I think we should. Oh, we can, we can for sure talk about the agency. <laughs> Take it away, ladies. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody was in that live earlier. The um, her little mentor agent lady was live, and she had I want to say like six other people in her. I think she had boxes full. They were the most vile and disgusting people I have ever heard on TikTok. I'm sorry, but somebody said the Juggalo team new agency. <laughs> That made me laugh. I'm sorry, but I was completely disgusted by the way that she allowed her brother to talk to people in that live. Um, you know, G talks about body shaming and how, oh, it's not, it's not fair that they post pictures of me in my cheetah bathing suit and it's body shaming. But this guy said, was calling everybody, oh, I bet you're 400 pounds. I bet you sit home on your fat A all day. Telling us our cooch stinks and it's rotten. Um, talking about our mothers. It, it was to me that was the complete <laughs> that just made G look so much worse that she is involved with that agency and I don't think that she realizes that this is going to hurt her image even more which is great I mean it's it's lovely for us but I'm just curious if anybody else caught that live um because I just couldn't believe it uh no it wasn't Gabby's brother it was her uh, G's brother, sorry. It was the mentor that she was live with. Was it last night or Friday night that she went and they battled? I think it was Friday night. Uh, her name starts with an M. I don't want to say any names. And there's people asking too if the agency is real and if G pays her. As far as I know, and someone else who is more educated on agencies is more than welcome to talk about it. No, I, my understanding is G does not pay the agency. They didn't even really know who she was until a few days ago. The agency claimed that she had been watching G in the background for a while. I don't know what for, but yesterday or the day before, she didn't even know that G had a child. Um, and it, as far as if it's real, I don't know. I mean, anybody can be a TikTok agency. So if you want to be one today, you can be one and you can go ahead and build up your team. I don't know. It's it's a weird, especially after seeing them 
how they behave today. And just the fact that she came in yesterday, guns blazing, ready to like block and mute and take legal action against everybody in the chat, which she doesn't have a leg to stand on. I don't know if you're in here, but you don't have anything to stand on. I mean, they blocked her own sister. Her sister came into the live and they immediately blocked her. And then we were all trying to tell her, like, you just blocked her sister. You don't even know. And then we got blocked for saying that. It was just, it was just it was completely absurd. I couldn't believe what I was watching, to be completely honest with you. And they'll see. I mean, it doesn't take long to watch these lives. She might be on her good behavior for the next couple of days because she knows people are watching and there's been lives about her over the past weekend, but we know she can't keep that act up for long and they'll see it. Everybody sees it eventually. Can we talk about the night of the live where the handcuffing took place as well? Sure. Of course. Was it? So I don't know if, I know a lot of us were here. I don't know if anyone in chat was here, but at the beginning, um, she was chuckling a lot, like very much. And we're like, oh, what's going on? You crazy me, Ma. What's, what are you doing? She proceeds to say that her dog took their um, rooster ring and adult toy and was laughing and about she it. laughed about it. She laughed about it for a half hour. It was a full joke. How is that a joke? <laughs> it just seems like nothing is really private when it comes to that. Um, I mean, even like his second day of school, I believe she woke him up and the phone was like right in his face. And it just seems like there's no privacy for anyone. <laughs> to go live right after private time and to then laugh about something that is so beyond not funny on live and then again initiate private time on live right after that is insane to me. She also, I don't know if it was a joke, but a while ago said that she was going to share her TikTok with C's teacher. <laughs> So um, I don't know about y'all, but I wouldn't be sharing my TikTok if I was her with my kid's teacher. And especially when she does things like that. Um, and she also knows that CPS watches her lives as well. So not only could the kid walk in, but they it happens in the same room. So yeah, it's a concern. What she's on? Yeah. Hello. I think they accidentally joined. I dropped them, but you guys can request again if you want a box. Yeah, anyone that has an experience or an opinion or anything, feel free. But while he's awake, um, can't confirm because melatonin's involved, but presumably, presumably. <laughs> well, I know I wasn't alive. Um, it was a couple weeks ago, but they were trying to get him to lay down and go to sleep and it was her and A in bed and they were she was talking about what her, her cat smells like, talking about how she takes fish, fish oil pills, 
Um, and I mean, he wasn't asleep yet. He was very much still awake and trying to fall asleep, but I just felt like that was a very inappropriate conversation to be having laying in bed with your child. Someone was asking about the government um, fraud. This is her confirming that she gets payments. Um, and then the Google Docs that is linked. <sighs> Shows her admitting to the fraud. And a lot of people are asking about how she is getting the money. Um, obviously, this is only speculation. We don't have any proof of this, but there was a live where she said she took C to um, a, chiro a family doctor friend of Mimi's. I think it was a chiropractor. They did the school physical for him, um, which is why me personally, I believe that she may have had some type of forged paperwork done with by this doctor friend again i this is all speculation i can't prove this this is just my opinion um but there has to be a reason because it's just too much of a coincidence that she, he doesn't have a pediatrician she won't take him to a real doctor and there is evidence of that um and again, to touch on the is he awake vibe, um, I don't think it would matter. She's up until one, two, three in the morning, scream, singing and yelling in the garage, either happy or mad at her chat. You know, I really I don't I don't think that it's a concern. Dean, what else do you have? Um, how about today when she brought us into the bathroom with her for potty time? It's not the first time that that's happened, and there's so many recordings of that, unfortunately, that she continues to expose her child on live and it's only her exposing him. And kind of on that same note too, for anyone that's watching that is on the fence about what's normal, what's not, I mean, it's kind of normal is relative, but whatever. For her to claim that C is super, uh, he's, he's had all these improvements since he started school. And for people that watch it and wonder, is that true? Like, can a child really make that much improvement in a few days of going to school? Um, I don't think so. I mean, so if you're, if you're leery about that, I would say you're valid in feeling like, yeah, this isn't really making sense. It's not adding up. Um, again, I just want If this was never advertised as that, I don't know. I'm sorry that if that's what you're expecting, that's not what you're gonna get. That's never what we were here for. I'm do not. We, do we think I'm that not, the visit today could have been something in regards to her getting that money, and that's why A is not there? I mean, granted, I know he's gone for other reasons, but does anybody have an opinion on that? I mean. Because it is true, a lot of people in the chat are saying, like, there's no way that she would be able to get that money with his income and him living there. Well, but there's I proof that she is getting it. So obviously, there is some kind of lying being done because she admitted to getting it on those text messages. When we were talking earlier, 
We spoke about this, but the other night when Karen was on the live after her breakdown, she slipped up and mentioned, oh, Aaron's mailing address. He's, you know, he's, he has mail here or something like that. So I want to say that's how. I want to say that the mailing address is different and that she's claiming, I don't know. Okay. I think that he's claiming something else. And it was very weird the day that she was on live when CPS came and there was bits and pieces that she was muting and unmuting so that we could hear um, when they asked, they asked a what the schedule was like between the two of them that kind of was very weird to me because it sounded like to me they were asking about a co parenting schedule, meaning that he was not that they assumed that he was not living there. So I kind of have a thought. I'm not saying it's real or anything, but I kind of think maybe A has gone to this funeral, but I don't see him coming back in the next week or two. I think he's taking some time away so that this way when CPS, anybody from the government is going to be coming to check her home, because guaranteed that's going to happen. He's not going to be there and she's going to pull the, oh, no, it's the haters, you know, they don't like me. So they're just causing problems. That's a legit theory. That's what I think, too. <laughs> Absolutely. I just know that she has multiple open cases still. So that also brings the concern is they're not doing like we also talked about surprise visits. They're it's scheduled so why is she telling us about that in the heat of everything like that's why i'm skeptical that's and just for sympathy and as sad as it is to say i mean is it that sympathetic though like is the, CPS system, <laughs> the system fails these children every day i mean there's thousands and thousands and thousands of kids that they have cases on that they have to make visits and keep notes on and just because they haven't done anything yet doesn't mean that there is nothing that's happening. It just means that, you know, either they're still investigating and they're trying because they don't leave the case open for no reason. If if they come and they see that there is no evidence of anything and they think that it was just, you know, some be somebody quote being a hater and a bully, they would close the case. But the fact that they keep coming back, they have something. They're building a case and it just takes time, unfortunately. I mean, that's just the way that the system works because they do have so many children that they have to keep cases on. And it sucks, but it, that's just the way that it works. I mean, they're failing him just like they failed other kids. I actually grew up in this system. I live in Canada, so I grew up in foster care all my life. Um, when they used to go to my mom's house, they would do pop up visits, but they would also do like scheduled visits, right? So this is where I kind of feel like, yeah, they're failing C very badly because C is not getting bathed, period. Because I don't think I've ever seen him get a bath. Unless, I think I've seen A give him a bath once. But other than that, I mean, they don't bathe him, they don't feed him properly. I mean, that kid, he's lucky if he gets a bite of her food or, or pieces of a, a pizza. Like, I mean, what kind of parent doesn't feed her child, let alone feed him before he goes to school? Well, and to that point, too, is nobody, literally nobody, G, if you're here listening, would know about any of this if you were not on TikTok Live every single day, all day long. Exactly. Absolutely. Nobody would know that you neglect your child. That doesn't take away from the fact that it happens, but that's also a much bigger picture in this whole thing is that nobody would know about the shit that goes on if she wasn't broadcasting it for everybody to see every single day. And I hate to say it, but it's going to backfire big when he gets older because the internet is forever and everything that has happened, um, not just even surrounding him, just her and his his parents behavior online every day he's going to see it someday 100 percent. he'll be bullied for it as well absolutely because the parents and, are going exactly. to see it, and then they're going to be like oh look at here's c's parents look what they're doing like how embarrassing 
I, I can guarantee you, Steve will end up going no contact with his parents once he gets older. He'll, he'll never speak to them again. Yep. And it's all preventable. That's that's the other part that's so infuriating is it's all preventable. It doesn't have to be that way. And Bean has said before, she said earlier, the the narrative of, oh, everybody's a bully, everybody just hates me, everybody's attacking me and they're hurting my son, it only fits for so long until it doesn't anymore. And it's just not the case for, I don't know, 607 people in this room that don't feel that way. We don't want bad things to happen. We don't want to see um, him not succeed. That That's never been the case. I don't know if it was my kid and this was not that I'd ever, I'd never put my kids on the internet. But let's just say I did put it on and my kid was getting death threats, which were threats of some sort of whatever she claims at the time. I mean, I would be off. You would never see me on TikTok ever again. 100%. In, in an instant. In an instant. Exactly. But hey, keep putting your child in danger. Not that anything's going to happen to him. But at the same That's time, a whole other thing is blaming the hate and saying that it's affecting her child when it in fact is not. No one, this, no one is talking a, about a, a even said on live, it. A even said on live she needed to calm down and that it wasn't affecting him because he's young and doesn't even know what's going on. So he kind of shot that down. She was mad because she couldn't use that narrative anymore. Somebody asked about k um k is somebody that g and and a lived with after they moved from illinois to florida because mimi didn't want coco living with them so they moved into k's house for a short time but there's a lot of drama also surrounding k and g um she I, I mean, she came out after they moved out of her house and was having lives about all of the crazy shit that they were doing while they lived there. And I mean, she made some accusations and stuff. So yeah, for everybody to see that um, she's back in the picture and it's, it's kind of funny timing. Someone else said earlier that she, you know, all of this drama happened with her mods and she hurt people that um, were good to her. I'll make that pretty clear. And now all of a sudden Kay is back in the picture and they're like besties again. I don't know what that's about, but that's who that is. Well, it's just another person that she can use and take advantage of because now she doesn't have P who was obviously funding a lot of her toys and gadgets that she was buying. So now she needs somebody else that she can take advantage of. Let me see if I can find that. Oh yeah, and I see Gabby's uncovered pool here in the chat. I have a bone to pick with you too, not you, but <laughs> the actual pool. <laughs> uh, the actual Amen. pool is is really <laughs> concerning. And um, yeah, I, I agree with everybody who says that's just an accident waiting to happen. That And that's terrifying to watch because the other day, I don't even remember what day it was, she was inside and they the kids were outside around the pool and nobody was watching them, not a single one. Well, she doesn't care about the neighbor kids at all. She's already admitted that pretty much on live and not giving them food so the pool that's big enough to need sensed let's let's remember that true it's it's deep enough to at least in her state legally need a covering and a border which <laughs> We're silly to expect that one, but. Oh yeah, should we touch on how many times um, they've been left outside to be on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can talk about whatever you want. I mean, <clears throat> Here, let me see if I can get the screenshot up that I'm thinking of. But she's either avoiding being outside or she is very too much hands-on outside. 
Oh yeah, while you pull that up too, um, Wishlist just said yesterday when she woke up and immediately, like what was the first words out of her mouth? Where is Cam? I don't know where Cam is. Um, that's rage baiting for one. She's just trying to piss people off because she knows people are going to be like, what the hell, what do you mean you don't know where your kid is? But even more, did she really not know where he was? Like, why would you say that? I personally no, don't think she was, does because know. Later in chat, people said, oh, she already knew they were at Walmart. She called him. Girl, none of us knew. You said you didn't know where your kid was. She said it multiple times. Why would your first thought be get up, find him, and or call the dad? Okay. <laughs> yes, the wanting another baby. Let's talk about that for a oh second. Oh my god. I can't. Let's... I don't know about anybody else. Let's talk else. about rage bait. <laughs> I, I okay so part of me thinks it's rage bait but I I honestly believe that they want another child to get more money I, I I'm gonna say it that's my belief I know Aaron a sorry wants another kid but there was all this talk about how she didn't want one she was done and now all of a sudden it's like I'm ready I want another one let's have a little girl let's talk about how she's been hinting that she already is though too Yeah, I would hope not with her newfound love of vaping and but I agree I haven't seen very many Scooby snacks in the picture lately I don't know it's weird <laughs> it is weird no Scooby snacks we're freaking we're feeding the neighbor kids so she's showing that she can have compassion for another well like I said this is an act it's not gonna last long she knows people are watching right now and she knows that everybody you know she's on everyone's Hi, radio babe. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. Who are you saying hi to? I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, Gabby. Oh, G. Oh. <laughs> I love TikTok shop. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys too for all the comments and the likes and for just being nice. It goes a long way. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you everyone for. Jo oh, I did not mean to invite you. Sorry. You're not I was trying to accept a request. You're not content creator. Quote unquote. You're just. Concerned citizens. Oh my gosh, TikTok shop. I actually, my Mima got this one on the TikTok shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, does she look good in it? Somebody brought up about the, the tampons too that she was talking about, but. I think I've heard her say five different times in the past, like two months, that she had her period. So, for five or something. months, and and listen, I I have endometriosis, right? Like, I get that you can bleed for a while, but not when you have birth control in your arm, and not when you're. I don't know. She said she doesn't use tampons a few times too. Well, that's her girl. Oh, the one that just joined the box? Who was that? Come on in, girl. Speak your truth. Get on up. Yeah, anybody's welcome. Anybody. Is she still here? Is she loading still? I I wasn't aware that that She's was G's now. account. That is that her? No, oh, someone God. said it was her, her girl. Oh, she's a G supporter. That's okay. I, I mean, seriously, anybody anybody can come in. Oh God, yeah, anybody is welcome. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Who eats that? <laughs> trigger warning, is... please do a trigger warning on that. <laughs> this is her, no, this is the good dinner. What do you mean? <laughs> that looks like something that was in C's diaper. Oh, Dare I show the biscuits and gravy? I wish I had a <laughs> like something. 
that looks like something D-I-E-D in that pot. Like R-I-P. Sorry, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. (laughs) Don't look. I'm crying. Stop, Stop, don't look. Oh, my my gosh. Why is it glitching? Chat, it's glitching. Sorry. There I am. There I am. (laughs) I'd just like to say, if there are G supporters in here, please come up in the box. We're not going to hate on you. We're not going to bash on you. We want to hear why you want to support her why? so bad. And maybe we can give you some information that might change your mind as to what has been happening. And has she has a track record that <clears throat> the supporters are just keeping her doing what she's doing and it is hurting that child period honestly i want anyone to come up i want supporters i would love to know why because at the end of the day why and change (gasps) wait plot twist change our minds there we go everyone loves a challenge come on because at the end of the day we we don't know debate talk we don't know them. We don't know these people. We are only going off what they are showing us. I just want to say too that after Friday's live, I hope that so many people, I mean, there was already enough proof, but especially after Friday, if you give a crap about a child at all, any child, but especially that child that you see the things that have been done and to Coco too, I hope you. I hope that changed your mind, and we're more fun over here anyway. Amen. We have, we giggle, we gaggle, and um, we show the truth. Oh my gosh, some of the screenshots I have. And just one question about the bath, the epoxy bath. So she never took him to a doctor or to the hospital afterwards? So everything that I heard on Friday's live points to no. Um, No concern. Well, no. and I don't know if anyone caught the live where we were bleach and vinegar scrubbing the tub recently, but that seemed like it was covering up evidence after that came one out. could only assume, allegedly. Um, and it, you know, obviously, like it was said in the live that there are screenshots of that we don't have those um those are up to those people to decide if they want to share apparently it's like a screen recorded facetime call um between and G apparently and it's a lawsuit so we're not trying to touch exactly we're not them we're not part of them making that clear Just know we are outside viewers. We have never had any kind of personal relationship with G at all. Any of us that are hosting this. Uh, We only can speak on what we have seen in her lives. And she can't say we're digging. Because it is all what she shows on live. Exactly. Can you guys hear me? Yes. So... My question is, like, if my whole thing is about, like, the CPS, if CPS is coming to visit, why isn't C being taken away? That's honestly the question that I ask about so many kids. Because they do need help and they don't get it when they need it. So I can speak on the other side. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I can speak on the other side of that. 
I took, <clears throat> excuse me, I took in foster kids. So you would see that they would come and they're not in immediate danger. And that is why they won't remove right away. Most times they start off with a safety plan to keep the child safe and the parents have to prove that they're going to keep them safe. So I don't know if that's maybe the case of what's going on with her right now is they're just have a safety plan in place. But unless they knock on the door and they're in immediate danger, they're not going to take those children. I just want to add too that um, there's obviously plans in place. There's a process, right? They have to go through all of this. They can't just show up on day one and take your kid. But the other thing too, for the people that are calling CPS, if that happened today, if CPS came today and you called on a situation that didn't happen, I mean, I don't know when the bath happened. Um, I don't remember if that was talked about in Bees Live or not, but it, it, I think it happened a while ago. So if it happened a while ago, there's not really going to be any proof today. So you then called, had CPS come out, and as much as we all want justice for C and and whatever, um, you're just pushing her narrative that she's bullied, that she's harassed, that people go too far. Um, it's harmful, even though you think it's being helpful, it's really not. And um, there's also a video that we have of um, her family actually asking people to please help in calling CPS to get the child taken away from his parents. Um, that will be linked in the Google Doc that Bean has as well. Um, so it's not just people that are on the outside. It's, I mean, this has been going on for a while and it's even family members that are getting involved. And I'm gonna many say, times, I was seeing in the chat, times. a lot of like, you know, she's harming her son. CPS can't go off of most people would find this not right. There are rules and guidelines that they have to follow. And obviously, mental abuse is a lot harder for them to prove to a judge to remove a child. And that falls through the cracks way too much. That yes, the system is completely broken. And most times they're doing their best and most times those workers who walk into those homes are not happy that they are leaving without the child but hasn't cps been called multiple times like, yeah and there like, wouldn't continue to be open cases if exactly if it was a lot of those open. cases are still open meaning that they are still investigating meaning that they have enough to keep them open but not enough to remove the child Exactly. It's a very frustrating system. And again, something that she always says is, if I was such a bad mother, why is my son still with me? Well, because that's, I mean, this is how it goes. It, there's not, they don't have enough to take C away. That doesn't mean she's mother of the year. She's far from it. She's far from it. It doesn't. He doesn't have a pediatric doctor. He's not vaccinated. And, and he doesn't school, have a primary care provider. That should say enough. Yeah, he and is almost four. Almost four. How does that happen? And the school, the school will see signs. I mean, they are trained professionals to see these kind of things. They will realize when he comes in and his hair is not brushed or his teeth are not brushed or he's hungry because he wasn't fed breakfast in the morning. Um, he's you know, being on, on the floor, um, those kind of things. They, they will, that all goes back to the parents. Um, Alex, I, someone just brought up a really good point that look at Gabriel Fernandez. I don't know if anyone's ever watched that documentary on that poor child, but it's one of the most awful things I've ever seen. It's super, 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 super triggering. But that yeah, is, that is exactly why, that's exactly how 
he is not taken away because things like that happen all the time. Uh, you can go watch it if you want. It's horrible. But but just to, I mean, just know that just because he's still with her doesn't mean they don't have proof of other things like neglect and delays and things that I think, I mean, I'm not afraid to say, I think are her fault that she is doing to hinder him, not not help him. Yeah, I've seen the documentary and it's absolutely horrible. It's horrible. And I believe it was Nina in the chat asked me like what like red flags would be. I once had what we see. Um, a, a child in care and their house was always perfectly immaculate. You could eat off their floor. I had one child, they still had the other. And when they were pulled over one night, getting high in a car is when they took away the older one, but the mother was pregnant with the second. They couldn't take away that second because they were not harming that one in the moment when the police got like, cause she was pregnant. Then after she had him, it took me giving the caseworker of the brother a, a recording of a phone call from them to me stating they couldn't take it anymore. They were just going to go get high. And can I please take this one? So it's really, it's parents can hide a lot when CPS shows up at the door. They can hide a lot. Well, we saw her cleaning and moving all the toys around at that one, the day before they came when she was on the live, <clears throat> which was the last time. I mean, she was running around like a maniac, cleaning the entire house, moving stuff. I mean, she knew, and that's why really I have long, a problem. Jimmy? That's why I have a problem with the scheduled visits, is because like she knows they're coming, so she has time to make everything look like it should, because she knows they're coming. Thanks for letting me speak. Can you guys drop me down, please? Yeah, thanks for joining, Alex. Thank you for coming up. No problem. I also have a question about the SSI. Um, has she already received any money from that? Do you know, just because, you know how she's bought all those toys for C and then she sold them all, right? Because from my understanding, she's supposed to only spend it on certain things for him or whatever not. So what happens now when I mean CPS obviously sees she goes there and there's all these great toys one day and the next time she goes back those toys are gone. And then to me it doesn't look like he has very many toys to begin with. So I mean seems a bit ridiculous. But so um based off what we were told, it seems that now back a couple it was right before they got the cars um there was something said that a's mom gave them like 10 grand um for i don't even know the reason and that's how they were able to put down the five grand on her car it seems very ironic and coincidental to me that they were then receiving 10 grand in back pay um so you can kind of put two and two together where that 10 grand really came from again this is just coming from word of mouth from people that used to, you know, mod for her, know her, but we don't have solid evidence of that. Like I said, it's just pretty coincidental that she was on a live talking about getting 10 grand and then all this comes out. Hello. Hello. Um, we <clears throat> am not in favor of Gabby or Danny. I really don't know a ton about them. Um, I just came up to say that um, please be very careful about throwing accusations around like what we haven't seen and we right. don't have proof on because on this side, it, it gives Gabby more ammo to say that she's being bullied when people are just throwing out theories on things. Correct. That's fair. That's fair. Because I mean, I'm 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 not trying to be mean to anyone, but it feels like a lot of the 